Hi, I'm Simon Hayes, and this is the Compulsory Basic Training Element A. So CBT stands for Compulsory Basic Training. It was first introduced in December 1990 to reduce accidents, and it's a safety-based course for all riders. It's compulsory because you have to do it by law. It applies to everybody, and it's a set syllabus laid down by the DVSA. It's basic because it's aimed at novice riders who are new to motorcycling. So it's training, it's not a test. It's about instruction and training. So you won't be tested through the day, but the instructors are there to help and guide you through the whole process. There's five elements of the CVT. There's the introduction to the course, an introduction to the motorcycle, learning how to ride in a safe environment, then there's a road safety briefing, and then you're out on the road for a minimum of two hours if everything's gone okay up to then. So how to be successful. So watch all the videos that we send you and do some homework before you come in to start your training. If you haven't ridden a push bike for some time, then go out on a push bike just to get your balance and to get used to being on two wheels again. And we suggest that you immerse yourself in the training. And the reason we say that is because training is difficult at times and the more you put in, the more you'll get out. And also remember to read the highway code. If you don't make it up to the certain standard to get out on the road, then you'll be invited back for more training. If you do make it up to standard, then you'll go on the road for two hours. During that period, if you demonstrate a good ability, then you will get your CBT certificate. But if you need further training, again, we'll ask you back for more guidance on the road. And moving on to helmets. There's two types of helmet. There's an open and full face helmet. There's also a flip front that where you could lift the front chin guard and the visor out the way. You should always ride with the flip front in the down position. The helmet must have a safety standard along with the visor and the goggles that you use to protect your eyes. There are a few different types of straps, so make sure that they're securely fastened under the chin. Always look after your helmet and make sure that it's a good fit and it's not too tight nor too loose. Moving on to clothing. There are three different types of clothing that you can wear. There's leather, there's textiles, which is man-made materials, and moving on to the alternatives. There's heavy denim and other garments that you can wear to bulk up on the layers if you don't have motorcycle clothing. So the clothing is there to protect you against the weather conditions and also if you fall off. There is armour in the shoulders, the elbows, the knees, hips and the back. We do suggest that you have your own PPE and that's personal protective equipment. And the reason we say that is so that it's yours, it's individual, and it fits you correctly and comfortably. And nobody else has worn it before you come in to do your training. So get yourself a helmet, gloves, and a jacket before you start motorcycle training. And finally, waterproofs, to stay warm and dry and comfortable. So a good jacket, a good pair of trousers, a good pair of sturdy boots, motorcycle gloves. Your training route starts with the CBT. After you've completed that, you'll then move on to your module one and module two test. Moving on from there will be some advanced training, starting with take control, enhanced rider scheme, and then full blown advanced training. And then of course, the final thing that you need to do is come on a European tour with us. So enjoy your CBT and we'll see you soon.